Hello everybody, my name's Alan and you're watching Guns, Gear, and Outdoors Alaska. Today we're going to be testing to see how double up buckshot patterns through five different choke tubes. There's two schools of thought with this really. One is that as your choke tube tightens just like birdshot, your pattern will shrink. But I've also heard that with buckshot, since it's so big, when you start to constrict it, it might kind of squish those buckshot and they won't be completely round coming out and that'll make your pattern actually grow. So we're going to test that today. We're going to shoot cylinder, improved cylinder, modified, improved, modified, and full. We're going to be using this CZ 1012 all-terrain that has nice easy removable choke tubes. We have a patterning board about 25 yards downrange and we're going to be shooting this SMB Double op buck, nothing fancy, no flight control wad or anything, just nine pellet double op buck. All right, so we're starting out with cylinder choke. Let's see what it does. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're checking out our results here. It's not a very tight pattern. We only actually have eight that landed on paper, but it's a 14 inch kind of oblong pattern. So let's put the improved cylinder choke in and see how that does. I feel like I spend a lot of time apologizing about the wind, but it's, it's really windy again out here today. Our range is kind of up on top of a hill. All right, improved cylinder. And fighting with the paper off camera to try to get it lay down and staple on the board is having some trouble. All right, we got our improved cylinder choke in. Got a fresh board up, 25 yards downrange. Let's see if this tightens it up or makes it bigger. Let's check it out. So we can see our uh, overall pattern size is about the same, but I think we got all nine pellets in there. But it looks like we're starting to get some, some kind of clumping, these pellets landing close to each other. Let's keep tightening the choke and see what happens. All right, got the modified choke in. Let's see what it does. Let's check it out. All right, we got all nine pellets on the patterning board. We're coming in at 15 inches, a little bigger than the other ones. And this is the kind of the most round and consistent pattern we've had yet. So let's head to improved modified, see what that does. One thing you want to make sure of when you're changing these choke tubes is that your action's open and you're clear. So you're messing around at the end of the muzzle, you don't want to cause any problems with that. So we got our improved modified choke in. Let's see what it does. Let's go check it out. All right, that's a pretty interesting result. Look at that, that's a 13 inch overall pattern, pretty tight. And if we discount this flyer, it's a nine inch pattern. That's, that's good. This is the best pattern objectively, like what I look for in a buckshot pattern that we've had yet. So let's go put the full choke in and see what that does. I'm really happy with this. That's, that's a little tighter and a little more consistent. Let's do it. All right, last but not least, full choke. Let's see how it goes. All right, so look here, we got a pretty pretty tight pattern, kind of vertically strung, 13 inches total across. But if we take a look, if we throw out this flyer, we're sitting at eight and a half inches. Let's, let's step back and put all the, the results from each test together and draw some conclusions. First, I wanna apologize about the quality of my handwriting. This is a pretty crude table I threw together with our results. But yeah, this was interesting. I wasn't expecting this at all. Our worst group was with the cylinder. Seems like the idea that 
And my shotgun with my ammunition that constricting the buckshot makes the pattern bigger didn't really work out to be the case. And see, uh, the best pattern we had was the full. Another thing that was demonstrated in our results here was the the ninth pellet flyer, something you hear about sometimes with nine pellet buckshot, it really showed itself in this one. Cause when we, like our cylinder choke shot, our ninth pellet didn't even impact the board when the rest were clustered in a 14 inch group right in the middle. And we can see with our full choke and our improved modified, the ninth pellet flyer significantly increased the size of the group. So that was an interesting result also. But I think the big, the big takeaway from this is every shotgun's different and every load's different. You got to figure out what works for you. So get out there and pattern your shotgun if you need to know. Because now I know if I'm trying to hunt maybe lynx or something with buckshot, I'm going to go with full choke. That seems to be the best shooting one in my gun with that particular ammunition. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like these patterning videos, leave, leave a comment. Let me know what you wanted what you want to see if you got anything that sounds interesting maybe i'll try it yeah this was a lot of fun even though it's windy and i was fighting with this paper but yeah interesting result sounds it's pretty good so thanks for watching like subscribe if you think i deserve it and yeah i'll catch you next time have a good one